Hey everybody, it's BZ here, and welcome to another episode of the Planet Crafter. And I am doing a little bit of work right now. I'm putting up some new solar panels because uh, today I want to get some more heat production going. Uh, see if we can get to that osmium pretty pretty soon here, because uh, I want to start getting into some mining. Uh, I have done a few things off camera. I don't really know what I can't really remember too much what I did. Uh, I did go and explore that little cave over there. Got a blueprint and a few other things out of it. Uh, but today I want to try to get some heaters going uh, I've been sort of thinking what do I want to do I got a whole bunch of iridium I went and checked out that cave over there for the iridium and that one's still sort of Frozen up so we can't really get to the osmium just yet. So we do have to generate a little bit more heat um, I'll show you what I've got for iridium so far now. We do have the tier 3 heater now This one can still only be placed inside so I'm gonna have to build some sort of room for it and I actually have two lockers full of iridium. Well, not full, full of iridium, but enough. Uh, I do also have enough to get uh, the advanced crafting station uh, made. Uh, that's why I was putting solar panels up there, is because we're actually running low on power. Well, not necessarily low. We have did have 75 kilowatts. I put four more solar panels up. Six more, actually. So we have 172. So now we should actually be able to... As soon as I find everything, we can go ahead and make this crafting station. And what was it? It was... I'm just saying magnesium and silicone. Uh, hmm. Magnesium. And there's the silicone, yes. Okay. Now, again, I am still waiting to find this blueprint to upgrade this. I right, get the, the large living quarters. So for the time being, I'm just going to stick this right over here. Because I don't actually have a door over here. And I can go ahead and make the iridium rods. Oh, I don't. I didn't see when I unlocked that. That's cool. Uh, I'm almost tempted to build that right now, to be honest. But I want to get the heat going because I'm sure we'll start finding the rocket engine somewhere. If I don't already have any, let me check. That I did not. But uh, what I can do is we can go ahead and start making some more of these rods. So I'm gonna take all this out and run all the way back over here to the crafting station. Go ahead and make a few of these. I need more iridium. I don't know how much aluminum I have left because I had to build the solar panels and we don't have the mining set up yet because, uh, well, we need osmium for that. And in order to get osmium, we gotta crank up the heat so we can start producing uh, or start melting the ice a little bit faster. Uh, what else do I need? That's all I'm gonna need. I don't think I actually used aluminum for anything else. Because I think the. Oh, the two tier twos do have it. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I'm we'll going to dismantle these because I was going to move these over anyways. Uh, I've been thinking about where I want to actually place these ones, and I kind of want to get like a like a a heat room set up in uh, over in the cave there. All right, quiet. You're too noisy. Okay, let's get out of here. And uh, what I'll do is I'll dismantle the rest of them and craft up the rods, and then we'll get back into the cave and. Start building these things. Okay, I got it all dismantled. So what I'm going to do is I've got the materials on me to make a 4x4 four four room. Uh, I'm not too sure where I want to put it, but basically what I want to do is I want to keep all the heaters in this cave. Because something about this atmosphere, I don't know what it is like out here. Outside, it's not too bad, but once you start getting inside and start getting uh, the atmospheric fog. kind of has that kind of glow that says, hey, let's put a big put a big heat box in here um, yeah uh, originally I wanted to put the I'm gonna put be putting the big uh, tier 4 heaters in here now let's use that uh, quick building again I love it okay and I can do that so this is where we're gonna put the heaters for now uh, just so they're out of the way and out of earshot we'll, we'll say so now I want to see how many of these I can actually build. Uh, see how, many, how much iridium I have, how much aluminum I have left over, and go from there. So let me get everything, every, get, um, get everything together, and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, so I have enough to make seven heaters. Uh, I don't can't remember if I, it was mentioned in the last episode or if it was it unlocked in the last episode, but I do have the bio, biodome. I'm waiting to get the compartment before I build this because I've got a plan for this and the bio lab now the bio lab of course we need the osmium for so we're kind of waiting on uh, the ice to melt but that's what we're doing this for to speed up the process uh, 
Yeah, I was actually going to grab some titanium on the way out, so I'll go out the back door and I got to move those crates because they're in my way. That's why I need to upgrade my living compartment. Anyway, let's run over here. And then what we're going to do is once I get the heat, the heaters in place, we're going to go explore the big ship up on the hill there. See if we can find some chips and uh, unlock some stuff. Maybe find some good goodies while we're at it. And all the good stuff. There's that haze. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. I need titanium. Oop, um, I'm lost. There's the door. One, two, and that's all I have the room for, so you get the idea. Let me build these, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. So, now, I'll go ahead and build four more of these noise, ma noise makers. Or five more, actually. One, two, three, four, five. Doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be out of our way, and so we don't have to actually listen to it. So now the terraformation index should be climbing. I also remember too that I think, yeah, we do have the rocket platform, but uh, until you start getting better supply of your iridium and stuff like that, there's really no point in setting it up at the moment. Um, let's go do some exploring, try to find some rocket engines and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably grab another bottle, bottle of oxygen, thing of water and a little bit of food and then I'll meet you at the top of the hill and as it starts raining again as you can see we're at 86% to liquid water which means this lake is going to be forming pretty soon oh wow this is noisy and it's a bit of a trek I did make a little bit of a shelter up there so I'll meet you up at the ship okay here we go uh, it is still quite noisy so uh, hopefully the rain stops pretty soon because I thought it would be drowned out by the ship by now uh, let's see what we can find here Fabric, aluminum, and do, 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 do. see what we can find in here. See if there's any anything good. Probably gonna be the same old stuff. So I guess I'll do a cut and bring you back when I'm done. Viewers, I'm home, and I got the blueprints with me too. And we're almost at liquid water. I didn't find too much in there. I got uh, some super alloys, some iridium, a couple of the fancy seeds, and. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of other things I'm going to go back there and loot, like there's some uranium and stuff like that. But first, let's see what we unlock here. Tier 2 torch, a mapping screen, and a shredder. Not what I was looking for, but better than nothing, I guess. Alright, uh, let's see, what do I have on me? I have that on me. I did explore everything in there. There's not much else I can find. I think I uh, might have to go to the big ship to check that out. Uh, let's see how we're doing on the terraformation. We're almost at liquid water. Let's actually see what the next unlock is. The next one is going to be the backpack on the terraformation one. And then uh, tier 4 heater. A lot of oxygen to go on that. Cyan, who cares? And nuclear reactor. Which will get there eventually. Now, what can I do? Uh, I would like to get the bio lab going, but uh, need super alloy for that. But I don't think we can actually have a use for it until we start growing algae, which we need the water for. Uh, I do want to get this going up. I might actually do that now. Now, I was talking about a sort of a layout that I have, and what I want to do is um, see if we can find some supplies here iron and what was it, cobalt? Do I have cobalt? Yes, I do. Okay, now, hmm, don't know where to really put this right now, because it's kind of in the way of everything, because I have crates in the way. Hmm. Let me see if I can actually move one of these. Is this empty? No, that empty. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's uh, deconstruct that, and then we'll put a ladder right here. Um, hmm. Oh, this doesn't actually allow you to go incremental. Okay, it's going to have to go right there. And then, I think I should be able to do it from down here. Uh, if I can make the inventory space. But I want to have a second level. I want to have the bio labs up on the second level. I'm actually going to have both types. But so we're going to be in like a cross section. Uh, let's see, what do I need here? I need three iron and two titanium. Now, I should be able to do that, and that brings me up here. So then what was going to happen, uh, i got to go back down. I need more titanium, one, two, three, 
Uh, oh, well then. That's right, because it's th two for each. So, like so. Grab one titanium for now, because I don't have the inventory space. And then I hit the right button. And then we do that and that. Now I gotta go back down and get more titanium. And we go back up. And then we do a little bit more of that. And the reason why I'm doing this is just because uh, the spacing that's required for them to connect. Because I'm pretty sure that both of them are 3x3. Three three. Uh, let's see. 2 iron, yes. And that should be it. So then if I go up here, we do that. Then if I go and place a biodome on the end, that should work. Now, which way is... Okay, that's a front and back over there. Okay, what do I need for this thing? I actually get two. I want to get two of these up. I should have the power for it. 37. That's the wrong way. Of course it is. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ladder's in the way. Houston, we have a problem. No, we don't. We make room. Are you serious? You cannot get between them? Uh oh. Uh oh, I have a problem. I'll be right back. Crisis averted. And it seems like I only have enough power for one so one of these right now, so we'll just do one for now. So I just need the two cobalt and two titanium. Two titanium and uh, cobalt. And inventory space. Uh, dump you in there for now. Okay, I'm going to go up here and uh, see if we can figure out which way the doors are. Okay, so I want to go this way. Now, I kind of thinking I might have to redesign my front door a little bit because I think uh, we're actually overhanging now because uh, I forgot to account for that when I was laying this whole thing out which means that I might not be able to extend one of these directions because I think it was uh yeah it was this side here that I can't build anymore I don't have the titanium to show you but uh I'm sure I can find some lying around here somewhere, but basically it's clipping into the ground. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to do like this sort of idea and have the four bio labs on the second floor, have the larger compartment in here. But now I'm starting to think that might not work. Maybe we'll just move it back one. Okay. Deconstruct you, deconstruct you, and place you uh, there. Uh, excuse me. Oh. Is there stuff outside? Of course there is. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm stuck. Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe. Let me figure this out and I'll be back. Okay, so there's the general idea of what I wanted. I still want to try to get the 4x4, but that involves me basically moving my entire base over one. But if I do that, my back door is going to end up hitting that, hitting that rock there, which is a bit of a pain. Actually, I want to see if I see if it'll actually fit. Let's see if I stop hitting the right wrong buttons there, BC. Uh, titanium. Where is titanium? Over here. And grab that. And let's see if we can actually get this in here. No, it's going to collide with the rock. Of course you are. Of course you are. Alright, well, they didn't have to stay. No, actually, I'm wondering about the other section here. Yeah, it should fit. We'll see. But uh, there's going to be sort of like a central feature coming up from the center of this thing that uh, we'll get into into f get into further detail later. But what I think we might do is maybe we'll head over to the other big ship while the heat builds because we're going to be unlocking stuff in a little. Actually, no, we should go up and uh, check the the ice and see if we can get that uh, osmium. Yeah, that's right. Uh, food. I do have food on me. Okay. Let's go run up there and check and see how that's going. Like I said, I did go check out the other cable over there that's got the uh, osmium and iridium. And that was still frozen over earlier, but the heat has been building. We have actually 
almost doubled the terraformation index since I started recording, so it's, it's not terrible. I haven't been AFK too long. Definitely get a bit of way up here, but I did expend, extend the catwalk all the way to the very end, so that is good. Uh, I don't think there's anything else up in this ship I can get except for just whatever I found in the boxes, so I don't know where I'm going to find that blueprint. I'm thinking it might be the big ship. I don't know if the, the chips you find are completely random when you decode them, or if you, like the ones that I found in here, I specifically find in here. Not too sure. Hey, we have Osmium. Finally. That means the other caves get to be all melted too, right? Oh, perfect. Look at this. Got the sulfur too that we don't actually need right now, but we might need it for explosive powder soon. Nice. That's about as far as I want to get in here by the looks of it. Which means we don't get to the sulfur area just yet. But we will. Soon. That's perfect because... That means we can get the, the ore extractors going. Nice. Which means I need more osmium. Or iridium. Iridium, osmium, uranium, ironium. All the idioms that there is. Alright, cool. So we have that. What did I need? else do I need that for? Oh, we can get the biolab going too. Uh, we don't really need it. Don't have the power for it. We're going to have to get more of those going. We might have to get... Uh, I think we could actually get a reactor going, to be honest. I think I have a uranium rod back at the base. So let me go check in on that, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, I am back, and I have enough on me to build the reactor and also to build the miner. And we have just unlocked the sign just as I walked the door. Maybe that's a sign. I have no idea. Uh, it is a little dark, but uh, I've been thinking about where I want to set up the miner. I think uh, probably aluminum would probably be what we need. I've been thinking about you possibly going to irid iridium I'm not exactly sure which route I want to take maybe we'll go do the iridium first hmm. let me actually think about this yeah I think we'll put it over here in the iridium area as far as reactor goes I haven't really thought about where I want to put that I want to sort of have it out of the way where it's not going to make too much noise so let's just stick it right here done out of sight out of mind Maybe not out of sight, but at least out of earshot. Gonna have a quiet base this season. Or as quiet as possible can be. But um, I think, yeah, I think the Iridium might be the best choice right now. Uh, I should be able to just get it from anywhere in here. Okay, and it's uh, turned around like so. And there we go. Generate Iridium. Perfect. Now I do have some Lormus seeds. I could probably get some more... Um, Grass feathers going, possibly. I probably should check the recording time. But, uh, yeah. I'm actually wondering about the, the tier 2 biodome, if it's going to be the same size. Uh, we probably could get this going, actually, since I have that power. I do have one more osmium. I do have the super alloy, too, I do believe. If not, I, can, I think I could actually make some. But I need that super alloy. I think it was everything, was it not? Yeah, we can make it. Because I do actually have some aluminum in this this chest here. Two pieces, actually. I wouldn't say a lot. Uh, did I have any more super alloy, though? I think that was all I had. So I might have to run over to the place in the back and get some more, and I'll be right back. On second thought, I'll just craft two of them. And now, I think all I need now is nothing. I just need to go place it down. So what I'm going to do with this is it's not going to actually be attached to the base. I'm going to actually have it sort of separate. Now, I can't remember exactly where the water line was. I think it was. Let me drink that. I think it was right around here. So, possibly. Why is it? Oh, yeah, it's only too wide. So, I'll probably end up doing it like that. i got to put a door on this thing, apparently. Let me do that. I gotta grab iron, titanium, silicon, uh, titanium, iron, and silicon. Alright, I'm gonna put the door there. So we go in and we have the biolab. And of course, it has to be on this side. Oh well. 
So there we go, we can start making our stuff, but we can't do anything with it because we need the algae spreader first, or algae generator. Alright, well, uh, let me take the recording time here. I think we'll probably call it here and uh, go from there. Yeah, it seems like a good time to call it here. Let's see how the progress is doing. We're just past 4 million, 4 empty, I will say. I still don't know what to, really how to say that, mega terra in or something. I don't know. But let's see what we got next for the unlocks. Uh, we're going to be getting the backpack tier 3, tier 5 soon. Uh, can't remember what I needed for that. Uh, tier 4 heater is going to be a little ways away because we're going to start getting uh, more grass spreaders going and uh, definitely the algae generator, which is going to be a little while in the heat. Uh, other than that, there's not really too much to do except for a little bit of grinding, a little more building and so on and so forth but until then i uh, thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to give me a like and as always i'll see you in the next one later